The council's been telling us not to go near the stones to the east. Just as well, the cath hounds near there seem a lot more vicious. The council's been telling us not to go near the stones to the east. Just as well, the cath hounds near there seem a lot more vicious. Master Quattro was hurt very badly. She might die. I heard it was her own apprentice that did it. Rahesha Sandral is a nice young woman, but her father has been keeping her at their estate since her brother went missing. Arlen Matali likes to lord his wealth over the rest of us. What I wouldn't give for him to eat his own words. His son seems like a nice boy, though. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Indeed. What is it you would like from me? The Council has told you nothing of the Grove? Then it would not be my place to explain its significance. But as the light side can be embodied in living beings, so can the dark. The Grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of Cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? Very well. What is it you wish to know? Ah, yes. Those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. I serve the good and, hopefully through that, the people of the Republic. I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something else I can help you with? I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Please do not disturb me. I have pressing matters at hand. Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? My name is Gar, 
Me and my fine wife, Rilke, here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms. But the cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. He should have been protecting her better if he wanted to keep her. Mandalorian beast. Some of us don't like fighting and killing and butchering as much as you. I'm not sure exactly what the Council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. They're pathetic. They're taking scraps when they should be taking worlds. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Mm -hmm. well, the ones you'll most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too, but he disappeared. Nurik, of course, blamed Alan, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? <laughs> yes. May the Force be with you. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. No! They've been raiding planets across this sector and farms around here often. You Jedi have left them alone because they haven't harmed you. But they steal our property, destroy our land, and worse. I say we look for these Mandalorians. I fought them in the war. They're nothing but vicious pirates. We should... we should stop them if we can. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa... my Ilsa... said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Please, I beg of you, find the Mandalorian raiders and destroy them so my daughter can rest in peace. Labodanikismatoma, <laughs>
Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my... companion, you see? Oh, I'm sorry, Master Jedi. I did not give you a proper introduction. I'm Elise Montagna. I own the farm to the north here, but I really am in need of your assistance. Time may be critical with so many cathounds about. Oh, and those Mandalorians. Please, will you help me find him? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Not that I know of. Um, none of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor, passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Uchuapai ตองปานกุนนอนแนกชีวิตไอตากาจองจิจาที่มุริราคุนกินกินมานกคนนิดหยดตาชีวะแอบไอตากันขี้ชานาจุปรนิโบคุนมุริราสนิโมปอยหว
Chua Peng Ti, Yun Patisa, I Chua Ji Kuta Naga, Ingu Mua Muli Radwana, Iman Chalora Kun, Chiwi Aita Ka Chong Chi Cha, Agi Uto Tune, Chua Muli Ra, Tangi Wama Ji Kuna, Tong Ki Pa Nong Tu Net Abog, Tong Ki Wama Aki Uto Tune, Kwa Tong Ki Wama Ji Aki Uto Tune, Tong Pa Lo Kun, No Net, Chiwi Aita Ka Chong Chi Cha, Ki Yuli Ra Kun Kin, Imba no kong nip yota. Chua peiti, yun patisa. Ichuba jikuta naga, ingu mwa muli radwana. Imba ni chalora kun. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Agi uko tune, chula muli ra. Tangi wama jikuna. Tong kipa no kong nip abog. Ki muli ra kung ki. Tong ki tuwama aki uko tune. Baba Hassan Shan. No ba muli ra ki lai kuka.
fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent, mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. Yeah? <laughs> What do you want? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant Republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells. And the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most. Maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. 
Maybe, but maybe not. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. That's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Yeah? What? Die! Tong 
Golfa da Bonqualeo Gondona Chuchu Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga Yuma Lita Kuto Tun Jilamulan Nindupobo Wonga Kumbis Chang Ba Mulera Wonga Kuto Tunga Kunga Wonga Kumbis Ching Bala Mule Kunking Ba Muta Tukin Chatukunde Mulera Chikun ita haudonga, ikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Simo po donar, hindi haudonga ku hunkabe. Runga di haudonga kun hunkabe. Wana kun bez ching palamule, tungking ba nunotak. Tuk ning chatukun de mulera bez. Ka chikun ita haudonga. Ikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Sili mo po donar, hindi ho dunga ku hunkabe. Runga di ho dunga kun hunkabe. Wana kun bez ching palamule, tungking ba nunotak. Tuk ning chatukun de mulera bez. Ka chikun ita ho dunga. Ikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Simo po donar, hindi ho dunga ku hunkabe. Runga di ho dunga ku hunkabe. Wana kun bez ching palamule, tungking ba nunotak. Tuk ning chatukun ne mulera bez. Mucho shak pakat. Kiye no no nama pao le rachiku. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handen standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handen to the prison he belongs in? So, what do you want to know? Well, I was out hunting Iriaz south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot. And when I came over here, I found Handen standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. bullock has got that now. Mine too. I want that back. So, what do you want to know? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie as. Haven't seen many in the area recently, what with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot, and pow, it went down. But when I come over here, there's Handen standing over the body and the Iriaz was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? So, what do you want to know? Well, kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Right. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. 
I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Balut came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. How can I be of further assistance? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> In injured? No, of course not. But why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with his problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Goldenetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Calf hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. Ah,ここは Wallet you malita kuto tun. Chila mula ne ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Mucha shak pa kap. Kiye no no dama paole rachikun. Ah, kakupa che kupa. Jino mulera kimpaija. Slimo po duama. Tong hai duam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da Bongwaleo Gandona Chuchu, Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga, Yumalita Kuto Tun, Chilamulane Nindubobo, Wonga Kumbis Chang Ba Mulera, Takunjus Tahniki, Grabumoko, Kachi Chu Ita Bodunga, Dolba Bank, Waleo Ganda Naru Chuchu, Bogisha Punga, Bola Wana Chikne. Mule slimo, puta da nanga, kumbis, mule rabes, ka chikun ita haldonga, ikin kuno pa mule ra chikun, slimo podona, dundi haldonga ku hunkabe, mucho shat pa kat, ki no no dama paole ra chikun. So, what do you want to know? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. 
Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Right. How can I be of further assistance? I know him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a... reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. How can I be of further assistance? Um... Well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Is there any other information you need? The Southwood Speeder Rental Business has records that over the past several weeks, a Speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gold. Is there any other information you need? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. How can I be of further assistance? But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. So, what do you want to know? Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. Ah, a kupa che kupa? Gino mulera kimpaija, slimo podwama? Lunga diko tonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Tukninchatukunebunerabes Ah, a kupa che kupa? Gino mulera kimpaija, slimo podwama? Ta kumju stak miki, grabble moko, kachichu ita modunga, tolba bank, wale oganda nalu chuchut, mule sha punga, mula wana chikne, wa mule slimo podadara nanga kumbis. Mulera bes ka chikun ita hodonga, ikin kuno pa mulera chikun. 
So, what do you want to know? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Right. Is there any other information you need? We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact he did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. How can I be of further assistance? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an Eerie has can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Of course. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Is there any other information you need? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. Ah, uh, Gino Mulera Kimpaija, Slimapo Duama? Ah, a Kupa Chekupa? Gino Mulera Kimpaija, Slimapo Duama? Lunga di Rotonga Kun Hunka di. Wanna Kun Bez Ching Palamule, Tunking Ba Nunotek? Tokning Chatukune Mulera Bez. Is there any other information you need? I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Calder's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. How can I be of further assistance? I can block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh, no. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder... Mr. Medic, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. So, what do you want to know? Right. Ah, a kupa che kupa? Gino mulera kempaija, slimapo duama? 
Tong abom sha umino, wanga kumbis king balemura. Choni yon tun chichi itatwana. Kapa boy pamuje kumana. Tunga di ko tunga kun hunga di. Wanga kun bes ching balamule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ah, aku pace kupa. Jino mulera kipaja kislima po duama. Tunga di ko tunga kun hunga di. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatu kun ne mulera bez. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Jitu ba duwana nigi bobo. Tunga bungsha nununya. Tung patukas mak telea tak kunjus tak niki gravel mogo kacicu ita mau dunga tulba bank wale oganda naru cucut mungkin siapa punca bola wana cikne mula slimo pada dalam naga kubis mula rabes tunga di ko tunga kun hunga di Wanna kun bez ching pala mule tungking ba nunotek? Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Tong abom sha um nino? Wanna kun bez keng pala mura? Choni yon tun chichi ita duana? Kapa vol pa muji kumana? Ta kumjus tak niki gravel mogo kacicu ita mau dunga tulba bank wale oganda naru cucut mau siapa punca bola wana cikne mule slimo pada dalam naga kumbis mule rabes kacicu ita mau dunga ikin kuno pa mule racicu slimo pada nag di mau dunga ku hukabe. Tunga di ko tunga kun hunga di. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Tung hai tuam jiji jung lumpa. Nita po e tikito. Dolpa da bongwalea gandona chuchut. Ka chi chu ita dundonga. Yuma lita kuto tun. Jila mulane nindu bobo. Wanga kumbis jang ba muli ra. Damn you. Damn both of you. Ta kumjus tak niki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita mo dunga. Tolba bank wale o ganda naru chuchut. Mole sha punka mola wana chikne. Ma mule slimo poda da da nanga kumbis muli ra bes. Kachikun ita ho dunga. Ikin kuno ba muli ra chikun. Ibu bodo na rundi hodunga ku hunga de tong hai tuam juju jung lumpa di tapu e tikito dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchu kachi chu ita dundonga yuma lita kuto tun jila mula ne ni du bobo wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. You did good. You might just make a proper Jedi yet. Who knows? A chuta. Bunga kun bis dolbi kiku yana. Tong patugas mak telea.
Ага. These settlers have come to Dantooine seeking privacy. Perhaps we should respect their wishes. wife and children instead. Anything! <laughs> ah, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah? Time to rumble!
This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? My orders are clear. Please leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted on the family's land.
I am C842, a personal assistance droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. No, I ran away of my own free will. But I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She... She tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. You don't want to know. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people, please. Will you destroy me? Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. What? Oh, 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 oh. 
My grove, this is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. A better Jedi than you will ever be. More powerful as well, for I could best be my teacher. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Yes, I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? Talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. You... you do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. I think, in my own way, I truly loved her. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. If I show them I am free of passion, that I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side, maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I have done? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment, and hope they will forgive me. If only there was some way I could make this up to you. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Oops. 